Sag, and welcome to your reading. This is a small intro before I start the reading. I want to thank everybody here for all your love and support, especially for all your beautiful messages, your light, your um, your healing that you sent, prayers and positive thoughts. Thank you so much. I do have to tell you that uh, my mom, um, uh, she is slowly getting better. Uh, last month, she lost two of her uh, siblings. That were, It was very hard for her. Uh, and the fact that it was hard was because there were two in less than like three weeks interval. And uh, I think that it's not only about losing her siblings, it's about not being able to be there with her family or, you know, uh, being, I think that's the hardest part when you lose someone is, is now is that, uh, especially in this, in these times is that we're not able to be with the people that, uh, that have lost someone in their life that was dear to them. So uh, that's why my readings are a bit late this week because I've been trying to, uh, you know, have a lot of time with my mom and uh, trying to like, you know, heal her and uh, send, you know, and do what I need to do for my mother. <clears throat> but in the meantime, my mom also wants all of you to know here on my YouTube channel, you Sagittarius and of course the collective, that she is sending prayers of love, light, healing, protection, and peace to everybody on the collective. She does a prayer in the morning, a prayer in the afternoon, and a prayer at night uh, with her rosary beads. So uh, just open that up and let the healing come through. So um, I want to thank for all. Of the, I want to thank all of those that have been with me from the beginning here on YouTube. For those of you that came halfway, those of you that are recently here or new, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community now for 25 years, and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool here to deliver you the messages. I just have a few quick announcements before I start. Uh, is that uh, everything that you see underneath the video? which is uh, if you need crystals under my name, you get 10% off. There's a link there. For those of you that join me on Patreon, please be, be patient. I will be with you shortly. Uh, and for those of you that want to join, there is a link there as well. For those of you that want to join me on Facebook, it's Patrizia Luna for inspirational posts. And for those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, Patrizia underscore 1111, I do come on there by surprise and I do free mini readings uh, for those of you that are needing of a healer, okay, uh, if you need a healing uh, and you don't know who to trust, uh, I do have two of the best healers uh, that have worked on me. I trust them. They're my soul tribe family and also a shaman who douses. And you're going to say, what's a dowsing? Well, it's someone that is able to remove energy, people, situations from our past life. Something that like, you know, you're trying to move forward and something is trying to keep us back and that energy is always there, stagnant. She's able to do all of that and there's a free consultation as well. So for those of you that are looking for a healer or someone to douse you, um, don't hesitate to email me. There's going to be an email address where you could contact me and I will share you the information. At this time, I am not giving out personal readings. But I do have someone that is like me that channels messages and they're from my soul tribe family. So again, if you need a, a, a reading, if you need a emergency reading, this is the only way to go about it is through a friend of mine or my soul tribe family, my, which is also a friend of mine. But or if you know somebody else on your end, but I'm, I trust them because uh, they are people that uh, have been with me for a very long time. Now, there's many ways on how to uh, support my channel. There's uh, by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That's very important because if you hit a notification bell, you need to uh, hit the thing that says all on it. And if you and then you could press that. And then anytime that I upload videos, you will see them. By liking them, commenting, sharing, of course, and watching the videos fully will keep, keep my placement here on YouTube very strong. So, okay. Thank you again. Know that I have your back and I love you, my beautiful Sagis, my beautiful Sagittarius. And let's get started with your reading. Hi, Sagittarius. And this reading is uh, from May 11 to May 17, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. So I will take out my singing bowl. And the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space. And I will do the same thing for you. But what we're gonna, I'm going to do something different today also is I'm going to send love and light and healing and protection uh, to the collective and, of course, to all of you.
perfect. Now I will use the spray. The spray, of course, I'm going to spray Archangel Michael. I moved Archangel Michael here so that you could see Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Uriel, my angels and crystals. And some for you, of course, and <laughs> some for me. Perfect. Now, let's get into your uh, affirmation card for the week. Your affirmation card is humor, Sagittarius. And it says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Beautiful. The angels tell you, vacant vegetarian. It says here, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. Maybe some of you are changing your diet. And then from Archangel Raphael, I got spiritual teacher. And that says, you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars spiritual healer or teacher and last but not least you got lessons of neptune around you and that means that there's some type of denial or illusion that you're or that you're around uh some type of deception or self by self yourself or by another person self-love boundaries have to be put up and detachments are important at this time and if you notice all the cards here what do you see in all these three cards that are the same I'll tell you what they are. Green. A lot of healing is taking place for you. I feel very much. And it's beautiful to see that. Okay. Now let's start with your reading. The reading is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If the reading resonates, that's good. Claim it. If the reading doesn't resonate, then look at your rising sign, your moon, which are your emotions. Venus is about love. Mercury is about communication and so forth. And maybe you will find something in the other readings that are for you. <clears throat> so anytime you see this is the right time. Now, I do have some messages here that um, Spirit wants me to relate to you. So uh, some of you are still feeling uh, some type of uh, there's some type of triggers that are taking place in your life or conflict. This could be conflict with people or just within yourself, and a sense of like disharmony. Some type some type of disharmony is happening now. This now will be not for all of you, but for some of you here. Uh, there's some type of pattern that you're trying to break or patterns or. Uh, uh, um, something like you're feeling bonded to or this could be like patterns or just uh, life lessons that are taking place I feel that what has to be done is that um, I feel that there's a sense of letting go letting go letting go of control like some type of letting go of control what they're asking you Sagittarius is that you need to stay in the present moment and being in the present moment that means that you need to uh, have a gratitude list. Be grateful for everything you have. Like just like every morning, get up and do a gratitude list or just say, <clears throat> you know, spirit or God, I'm grateful for my home, for my health, whatever it is that you're grateful for. They, they want you to stay in the present moment because there's a lot of abundance around you. And this summer, there's some type of growth that will take place for you. I also see an integration of a union coming together or some type of integration that's taking place for you. And a lot of opportunities, a lot of uh, opportunities and having that freedom and taking that leap of faith. And Uranus, okay, is right now in your chart very strong as well. So now I will do a Celtic cross <clears throat> and I'm going to show you where you are right now. What, you, what spirit wants you to focus on? What is your recent past, of course? What is coming towards you? What you need to know from, from the universe and God and your possible future. So let's get started, Sagittarius. I'm very happy to be here with you. Okay. Let's get started.
too many cards. Hold on a second. Okay. Ooh. Overall energy. Very nice. The ten, the ten of of, uh, of cups. So the ten of cups talks about feeling abundant in your family life. Maybe also very grateful. This is a start of a new relationship or a relationship that you're in. This is like all types of emotions coming together. It's not always steady, right? Emotions are always, um, you know, going up. It's like an up and down situation. But it talks about contentment, being happy. And it talks about a soulmate relationship here. Now, where you are right now, okay, you have the death and rebirth, uh, death and rebirth reversed. Okay, there's some type of resistance that's taking place on your end. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio energy. There's some type of transformation that has to take place. There's an ending, some type of ending, a cycle, patterns. It could be behaviors, your patterns. Something has to end for this rebirth to take place. But there's some type of resistance. Some of you maybe are dealing with a Scorpio. Here you are, Sagittarius, as the King of Wands energy, or there's another King of Wands energy around you. This is a, it could be a Sagittarius like you, Leo, or Aries. The King of Wands is a very strong masculine energy. This could be your energy as well. Very courageous, very going out there, courageous, a lot of self-belief, you know, having that courage to move forward. Okay, also very generous, uh, also very truthful and very frank. And usually the King of Wands, they go after what they want. What Spirit wants you to focus on is the Six of Pentacles reverse. So there is something here that I feel that maybe you were giving too much. Something was off balance. Whether if this has to be with money, your job, your business, or a, some type of partnership. You were giving too much and you were not receiving. In the past till now, you got the Judgment card. That means the Judgment card, there was something coming in. This could also be karmic for some of you. Okay, but there was something coming in, someone or something coming in, where also at the same time, there had to be some type of judgment that had to take place. What is above you is the seven of pentacles. So at, you are reevaluating everything at this time, not only your present moment, but your past and also your finances. What is coming towards you is the five of swords. Okay, so this card, the five of swords, there's many, many meanings to it. You could see it as you want to see it. But what it is here is also your thought, your patterns of always being discerned. That could be part of it. But I feel that it's going to be removed from you. Or there is a, an energy of someone around you that does not is not there for your highest good. Okay, uh, meaning uh, maybe uh, some of you are stuck in a uh, some type of domestic uh, violence at home or a lot of abuse or screaming or someone not being there. Someone could... Also, this could be also someone trying to cheat you out of something, you know, like could be cheating you out of money or something like that. But whatever it is, there's this energy around you with the five of swords. And we're going to go into it after. What you have here in the seventh position is a queen of swords energy. So this is Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. The energy of this individual, they're usually very cold people. They're usually single people. Uh, very cold. It doesn't mean that they are. Or this could be also in your energy as well, where you're seeing everything that comes towards you. And uh, you're very much indiscerned. You're discerned. As if you're waiting for something to come to you and you know that you're going to be able to cut them out and say, you know, take the door in that way. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, or you're dealing with someone that is a very mean spirited around you. What Spirit wants you to know is you got the Lover's card, Gemini energy. This could be a lover, a twin flame, a friend, a sibling. It could be anybody, a daughter, a son. Okay, uh, now if it's a love situation, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, this is a, from the soul. Uh, but for other people that say that you have nobody in your life, this could be from a friend, like I said, a soul member, a soul tribe member, a family member. This could be anybody. And there is a decision, again, that has to be made. In the hopes and fears, you got the four pentacles, and this talks about where you're clinging on to something or someone. You could be clinging on to your to your to your money, maybe giving away too much of your money. But there's some type of clinging that's taking place here. But the four always talks about some type of stability, so that's good. And then you got the last card, the chariot. Some of you are dealing with a cancer, or this is also could be a Sagittarian card as well. But I, I associate to cancer. You're going to take control of a situation, Sagittarius, and you're going to move forward with it. 
okay? And this could be the month of June of 2020, or it could even be before that. This talks about where um, a time where things were negative, that things were like not that great for you, you're moving towards a positive, that some type of positivity is coming towards you. And uh, with determination and uh, also uh, with, a, with success, it talks about success. Maybe some of you are also buying a new car. Now, let's look at the, let's uh, look at the death and rebirth card, the death card, reversed, why it's reversed. We'll look at it, why it's reversed. Why is the death card reversed? You got the page of cups. The magician reversed. And you got the permit card. Okay. Well, some of you are dealing with a Virgo, if not a Virgo, a Scorpio, because there's two signs here that are here for you. This is a time for you to go within, I feel. You're taking time out from the world. You're probably meditating, taking time out, and you're following your own path. Maybe something happened uh, between September, okay, and November 2019. That something took place for you here. That there is some type of resistance, you know? Like you're, you're in your own world, you're doing your own thing. And whatever took place, there is some type of emotional experience as a page of cups here. There's some type of emotional experience that's taking place here for you. But whatever the energy here is, here is that some of you are trying to manifest, maybe the Ten of Pentacles here. And I feel that with the Magician reversed, is or A, you're dealing with someone around you that is trying to manipulate the system, the, the, manipulate you or the energy around you, or this means that some of you are not trying to manifest anything at this time. You're taking like time out, I feel, okay? There, or there's also the sense of, uh, because to manifest, you have to keep your thoughts positive and not be negative about any situation and you have to let go of the result of it and believe it that it's already there. So maybe some of you are having difficulty with this, but I'm gonna take another card for the, the death reversed the magician reversed here okay let's take another card for that why is the death card reversed and the magician reversed i was quick okay well uh i feel that because all of you are uh restless at night you can't sleep at night maybe there's something that's bothering you you're fearful there's a lot of fears that are associated to this okay uh fear-based energy and I feel it has to do with money for some of you because the Ace of Pentacles came reversed. So maybe some of you um, are resisting a change, an ending that has to take place here. And um, and you're going within, you're trying to find your own path, okay, as well. And really uh, being still at this moment. But there's some type of resistance that's taking place, fears that are consuming you for something that's not stable or money coming in. But I do see someone here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it doesn't have to be, that's very romantic around you. Uh, very romantic, but remember, they are a knight. Now, let's look at the King of Wands energy here. What is the King of Wands energy all about? You've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Elephant, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, you got a lot of cards that came out. Whoever this is, if this is you, Sagittarius, or a person that you're dealing with, whatever that you're dealing with here, it's an ending that's taking place with the Ten of Swords. This is good. The Ten becomes a one of thoughts, of whatever that took place, of past life experiences, you are releasing from you. With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're working on, on, on something in detail. And um, it's like a, you're working day, night, or long hours, okay? Long hours are being done here. But there's a sense like you're frustrated. You're giving up because something is not coming in for you, whether it's finances, a person, okay? It's taking a long time. And there's a phase that you need to go through. There's some type of, um, there is some type of caution here, I feel. There's something, caution, they're telling me caution, but at the same time, they're also telling me there's something that's being uh, given to you or shown to you. And some of you are not interested in this. You're not interested. You don't want to see it. 
Okay, you're, you're not interested even in the three cups that are here at the bottom. You're not interested in looking at it from a different perspective. But I see that you will. Because with the elephant here, this talks about some type of organization that's coming to your aid. Or there's someone that is very different than you, okay, that is here for you. They're very traditional, very different than what you're normally used to. And you're taking, like I said, you're taking your, your, some of you are really going within and really following your own path. And there's a stairway, like at the light at the, the light of the tunnel, you're, you know, the light of the time, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is what I want to say. Sorry. For others of you, this could also be some type of marriage. Okay. That's taking place here or some type of community, but it's something very strong. But with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, there's someone that's not coming in. Again, a lot of resistance here when it comes to money. Uh, a person, okay, resistance of someone coming in, uh, taking their time. I see that there's a delay that's taking place here. Now let's look at the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to take a sip of water, so cheers. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles here. Reversed. You got the hair, the the high priestess upright, the three of wands, and what else? And you got the ace of swords. Okay, this is good. So something that was imbalanced before is going to shift on you because. The high priestess is here. You are a high priest or high priestess. They're asking to trust your intuition. It's time of stillness to go within. You have a lot of wisdom. Try to remember that everything happens for a reason. Try to remember the lessons behind them as well. And there's a universal secret here. Okay. With the three of wands energy, you're looking into the future with a bit of optimism, you know, for hope, faith, and the ships are coming in. It might take three days, three weeks, three months, but there's something coming in that's going to change your life for the better. And uh, this is going to be long-term goals and long-term investments. And with the Ace of Swords, the energy of the divine coming through, um, clearing your throat, your third eye, seeing the truth in situations like you're really going to get it this time. Uh, so seeing through something in the past or whatever that's taking place, you see, you're going to see the truth. Okay, the divine is going to show you and you're going to be able to cut out people or situations out, clear the fog. And uh, as well, you are going to be, there's going to be a lot of communication here and a lot of great ideas taking place. Now, let's look at the judgment in the recent past. What is this judgment all about? You've got the justice card. You've got the Knight of Wands energy. That's you, the Knight of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this judgment card that comes in for you, right? Well, what I'm showing, being shown you with the Justice card that uh, whatever that's coming towards you, is your, the rulings will be made in your favor. And everyone that's involved will be treated fairly. This means that Things will be in balance and you're going to stand in your truth and determination. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra energy. And with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, this is you venturing out. Maybe the Knight of Cups is also you being emotional, trying to show, being romantic, you know, courting someone. And this is you going out there, wanting to have a venture, wanting to have that freedom. Okay. And it's a really beautiful energy. And it could also mean that you could also be restless as well. And it shows me with the Nine of Pentacles, okay, that um, you are self, you're independent, you take care of yourself, okay, and you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. And at the same time, you're also very much in touch with nature as well. Now, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles here. What is the Seven of Pentacles about? What is the Seven of Pentacles here? You got... The Six of Wands energy, the King of Pentacles reversed. And the Three of Swords. 
So I feel for some of you here, this has to do with money. A lot of you, I mean, especially what's been happening around the world right now, a lot of people lost their jobs, their businesses. Okay, and at this time, maybe some of you are feeling like the king of pentacles where you're not stable, you're not feeling stable, you lost a lot of money, you're losing a lot of money, and you are reevaluating your budget, you're doing all that, okay? And there's also a sense of your heart, uh, your heart chakra being broken. Maybe this could be also with a, a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy individual that surrounds you that's not really stable at this time. Um, but there's a sense of uh, your heart needs... Uh, so you've been trying to mend your heart, but there is some type of heartbreak that's taking place here for you. But they want you to know is that with the Six of Wands energy, you will be successful. Whatever it is, where it's personal, business, you will be on top of the world and you will be successful and you will be recognized for this. So that's beautiful. Now let's look at the Five of Swords of what's coming towards you. You've got the Hanged Man. Five of Swords, the Hangman, the Queen of Cups energy. Okay. And what else? Five of Swords, the Hangman, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands reverse, and your card, Sagittarius, Temperance. So, so there's some type of sacrifice here, surrendering that needs to take place, letting go, removing. Re releasing from this patterns, the bond, whatever it is, maybe your thoughts or maybe a situation around you. Okay, you're in the loop of a situation and you're also in a cocoon stage. Okay, so you will be in this type of situation for some of you. You're coming out of some type of where you were like the hermit. Okay, uh, you were within, you uh, were, you know, withdrawn from others or some type of really you are going to be releasing all of this very soon they're asking you to be patient some of you are patient and some of you still need to work on your patience because it's half half uh this talks about also mothering your life not just your body your mind but also your spirit it talks about med med meditation it talks about balancing everything out you know um and again uh you know you are earth angels my beautiful Sagis, or you're dealing with another Sagittarius here. With the Queen of Cups energy, I feel that this is a, a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, or an, a person around you. This could also be you, Sagittarius, that you are very nurturing, very loving. Uh, you're very nurturing, very loving, very compassionate, also very psychic here, it shows. Now, let's look at this Queen of Swords energy. You got... The Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay. And the Two of Swords. So there's someone here. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles, it could mean that there's some type of start of some type of um, something that's stable, that's taking place here, some type of stability. Uh, but the Page of Pentacles is also someone that... Um, you know, comes around, they apologize, and they kind of like, they apologize and then they redo it again. There's some type of, but the energy with the Queen of Swords is, you need to really be careful about that. And with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, it's the same like the King of Pen Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and this is you. This person is not stable. There's some type of instability with this individual that you're dealing with. And some of you are at crossroads at, at, about the situation, whatever it is, this business love, you will know what I mean because it will you, it will resonate with you. You are, you are, or you're looking too much in the past about it, or you're looking too much in the future. Again, something about being in the present moment, and that you are at crossroads. Okay, there's a path that you need to take, and you haven't figured that one out yet. Now let's look at this uh, the lovers card. What you need to know, what spirit wants you to know. many cards why is the lover's card here you 
you got the three of cups you got the strength card and the queen of wands so you got the king and queen of wands and the king and queen of pentacles reversed so there's an energy here this could be yes celebration with community and friends and family or there's a third energy here okay with the strength card it talks about maybe you're dealing with a leo or you have leo in your chart such there is this talks about having the courage having the strength to move forward taming what it was that needed to be tamed within you if you were not feeling good in the past if it was an injury or some type of illness, you're returning to good health. That's very, very great to see that. Maybe it will take place between June, July, and August of 2020. And with the Queen of Wands energy, well, you have a strong feminine energy here. Okay, very generous, very outgoing, very optimistic, very truthful, very inspiring energy here. What is this all about? Well, some of you are waiting for someone to come in. Maybe such there is you have to give a message to someone and you're not giving it. Or there's some type of message that is delayed because there's a resistance here. Where this has to do with business, love, friendship, family member. There's some type of resistance, okay? But I do see that you will be going through a transition from a time where things were hard to a better times. And I do see some relocation or moving taking place for you. Now... Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. You've got the Eight of Wands energy. It's on the floor, the card, but I'm going to take it after. The Nine of Wands reversed. And the Two of Wands. A lot of Wands energy. I'll be right back. Okay, so from the Four of Pentacles... In your ninth position, you've got the eight of wands. There's a lot of messages coming in. Very passionate, very loving, and very fast-paced messages are coming in. With the nine of wands reversed, I feel some of you have to put up your boundaries. There's some type of boundaries that have to be put up here. Maybe with messages, maybe people asking you for money, maybe some whatever it is that you're giving too much of. I feel like you're giving something away or you're giving too much power away. You need to set boundaries up, okay? It's very important, whatever the, what, whatever the messages are about. But with the two of ones, I do see someone coming in and you're hoping for someone to come in to have the same vision of you and to move forward, you know, and making short-term plans. There could be this as well, okay, for some of you. Now, let's look at the chariot card, the last card. Why is the chariot here for you? You've got the Eight of Swords reversed. That's very good. You've got the Moon reversed. Excellent. And you've got the Eight of Cups reversed. Even better. Okay. Eight of Swords reversed talks about where once you were feeling stuck, whatever it was in your mind, whatever it was you were feeling stuck, you are not going to be feeling stuck anymore. This is my Neptune card in Pisces. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with Pisces or Cancer. I'm just giving you the signs. You are, you are, you release the fears. You released everything. There's some type of freedom and also unusual dreams that are taking place for you. You released something out and there was some type of secret or something that came out that made you not feel that you were stuck anymore. And the Eight of Cups reversed talks about where whatever that you walked away from, whether someone walked away from you or you walked away from some type something, it feels what it said what it, what it means here is that you are going to overcome your emotions you're going to overcome whatever you had to go through because with the chariot it talks about that you will take control you will take control of the situation and move forward now let's look at the 10 of cups energy <clears throat> what is the 10 of cups here all about You've got the King of Swords upright. You've got the Tower card. And you've got 
the five of wands. So there's an energy of, there's a lot of conflict around you fighting. Okay, there's a lot of conflict, maybe even within you, who knows. But this Ten of Cups energy and the King of Swords, it's really good. The King of Swords is, uh, is a bit much better in a sense why, where uh, the people that find the solutions to everything. This could be your energy, um, Sagittarius, okay, where whatever situations come to you, you find solutions, a lot of great ideas taking place here, being clear, a lot of wisdom, being more calm, okay, with the Ten of, Wands, uh, Ten of Swords. You could also be, again, I got the, the King of Swords, I got the Queen of Swords energy, got the King and Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the King and Queen of Wands, very strong here. I got the High Priestess and the Hierophant, that, that is also another thing. And what I see here with the Tower card is the Divine is coming in to clear something. So there's something that's being cleared from you. Maybe a detour. Something is faded. Okay, but the Divine is coming in to clear situations and people out of your life. I feel that this has to do a lot with karmic situations that maybe you had a hard time of letting go of. Because like I said, there is a resistance here. Maybe you're fighting this not to happen. Okay, something is taking place where you're fighting it not to happen. And I'm just going to take one more card for the tower. Yeah, you see? There's something that's not completed. To, okay, that's why I said there's a delay here. There's something that's not completed. There's someone or something that you're clinging on to. Okay, an idea, a thought, a person, doesn't matter. Or there's someone that's doing this to you, but there's a delay that's taking place. And underneath the card, I have the Five of Cups energy, which talks about where there's a lot of hurt, guilt, resentment here. You are trying to release... A lot from you you're trying to release it everything happens for a reason and there's, there's there's that silver lining that you need to understand like the ha ha moment where you're gonna get it you, you'll understand why and then everything will flip where you're gonna have that transformation where you're gonna learn a past lesson that was very difficult to learn because i think this this has been many many lifetimes okay like look when i see this underneath the card I also got the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, feeling in the dark. This could be financial for some of you, okay? Some some type of finances. The communication is not there. The thoughts, there's something that is not with the Page of Swords reversed. Again, another card here, okay? Where um, something you need to learn, some type of communication not being clear. Even though there's a new beginning, okay? it's And it's divinely given to you. Some of you are not taking that. And again, with the sun reverse, talks about some type of mishap, some type of something like that is not yet. Uh, there's a delay. There's a delay. So there is a delay that's taking place for you. So now, let's look at your animal spirit guide. You need to remain patient. Everything, I think in the month of June, I really feel in June that things will take, will take a turnaround for you, for the better. Okay? So what is uh, your animal spirit guide? You got mouse. Now mouse has an innate desire to tend to the details. It often spends its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. Unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This, be, this can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. When the mouse energy is at play, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more pur pur purposeful project to delve into and one that's worthy of your exacting eye. When it's in balance, it's organized. When it's out of balance, it's busy with no purpose and to bring into balance a meaningful project. So the mouse energy is with you this week. Let's look at your crystal. You got the tiger's eye, courage. This is a sacral and, and uh, solar plexus. And the crystal meanings of this card is, allows you to see situations clearly and powerfully assists in decision making. Allows you to open deeply to spiritual wisdom and live it on a day-to-day -day basis. Enhances courage and strength. Allows you to stay focused on the task. Supports in challenging and confrontational situations. And supports in finding your inner truths and draws in courage from your spirit to face challenges. You have attracted this very powerful card, card into your life today to remind you that you are a strong and courageous person. As we master the act of being courageous, our whole world changes and we start to live from a place of inner 
power, and strength. If you have been feeling fear and insecurity in your life or your current situation, it's now time to awaken to the courage that lies within. You have many insights and blessings to receive through this process. It is natural at times to feel overwhelmed by challenges, people, situations, and events in life. We are constantly being encouraged to draw on our own strength and courage to get us through. All life experiences, positive and negative, build a deep foundation of strength and courage of the soul. When fear, doubt, and insecurity are running through you or you feel like you're like giving up or walking away, this is often when you need to dig deeper within and find the courage that lies within us all. The light at the end of the tunnel has arrived now, so allow your courage to guide you through this time in your life and know you are supported by the Crystal Kingdom. The Divas of the Tiger Eye are with you now, encouraging you at this courageous time in your life. They are offering their powerful medicine to assist you in connecting to your inner courage. Open and allow this energy to ignite your warrior as you step into your courageous heart. So Tiger's Eye is with you for this week or for as long as you need it. And now we'll look, like, we'll look at the quantum energy, what the quantum energy wants you to know. So what you got here is from Spirit, a, spirit, a message from Spirit, and it's a number five message. And it's called the Sacred Temple, your Hall of Records. This card unveils your ultimate place of power and inspiration. The Sacred Temple is the seat of your soul and is always available to you as a source of peace, balance, and connection to Spirit. You can access this wonderful place by meditating on your own heart center. Receiving this card upright is telling you it's time to do so. You are at the point in your life and your personal power where you are able to open this holy vault and connect with the unlimited information contained therein. Whatever project you may be working on, whatever type of inf information you need, whether personal, spiritual, financial, medical, artistic, scientific, or any other topic, the answers you seek are available to you now through the Akashic Records. When you connect with this powerful spiritual source, you will find all the avenues of your life opening up with possibility. This card is telling you that you are ready, so take the time to enter the temple. Meditate, trust, and believe. You'll be, an, you'll be amazed at the important energy and information you find there. And your uh, affirmation for this card is, if you want to repeat after me, I open the Akashic records that vibrate all around me. The wisdom of eternity is mine to behold. Again, I open the Akashic records that vibrate all around me. The wisdom of eternity is mine to withhold. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back. Know that I love you always. I'll see you next week. And please stay safe and sound. Bye.